have three amazing sons, Gavin, Sean and Ryan. We've all waited a long time for today. And finally, we've got here, and guess what? I've gained another son, Paul. <laughs> today is a very important and, of course, memorable day for Paul and Sean. And they have clearly taken a considerable amount of time and care preparing for. This place in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to the law for the celebration of marriages. And you are here today to witness the marriage of Paul David Evans and Sean Daniel Peacock. To celebrate with Paul and Sean today, let us reflect on what marriage really means. Marriage is a bond to be entered into only after considerable thought and reflection. And it's a desire by two people to accept each other for who they are, to share all that they are and all that they have with each other. I promise to honour you. To grow with you. For the whole of my life. I will love you and care for you. I will trust and be honest with you. In good times and the bad. I will share your interests and hopes for the future. I will laugh with you. Cry with you. <laughs> be with you. I'll be tenderly sick. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a nice round of applause. ago and I remember phoning Sean one day and asking where he was but he was a bit cagey do you remember mm -hmm. yeah and he said he was in Newcastle this worried me slightly because I'd never let Sean out of the street until he was about 15 or 16 <laughs> Newcastle was almost another country to Sean so I was a bit worried how on earth had he got all the way to Newcastle by himself when I pressed him further, he whispered, Man, man, I'm on a date. Tinder had got a hold of my son. <laughs> <sighs> Mr. Evans Peacock. <laughs> I would just like to say that I love you more now than I've ever done. You always make me laugh, even though when you're dancing on the bed when I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> but if you think from our first date in Gapsby's until now and everything we've done in between, you bring happiness into my life and a lot of laughter. So if I can get everyone to stand up, please. <laughs> and if I can get you to raise a glass to Sean. Right lads, so let's begin, yeah? We go. Loyal, caring, sincere, honest, a great man. But that's enough about me. <laughs> I'm here to give a speech about Paul and Sean. It's an absolute honour to be my brother's best man. I will have a question if I truly deserve it. Before long we realised that Paul was a keeper and they clearly adored each other. Paul is caring, calm, considerate, and above all else, tolerant. 
<laughs> Basically, he's one of a kind and an absolute credit to his mum, Sharon. I couldn't have asked for a better son-in-law, even though he keeps telling me he's going to put us in a bloody home when I get old. <laughs> but above all else, he makes my Sean exactly, perfectly happy. But to find a partner, soulmate, lover and friend, to do it together, that is something special. So that's it guys. It's been an emotional day so far. Even the cakes and tears. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last, this is the last one I promise. I would like everyone to raise a glass to the happy couple. Paul and Sean, Evans Peacock. Although you missed a trick. Should have been Evercock. <laughs> 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 <laughs>